Good morning. Welcome to Morning Express. So you're watching Indian Express. I'm Charula Dabaswas. Let's begin with the big story of the day. Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveiled a hologram statue of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose at India Gate on Sunday and said the country is correcting mistakes made after independence when according to him efforts were made to erase the contribution of several great personalities along with the nation's heritage and culture here are the stories you'll find only in indian express reflecting the sharp contrast covid's economic impact has had on earnings the annual income of the poorest 20% of indian households constantly rising since 1995 plunged 53% in the pandemic year 2020-21 from their levels in 2015-16 in the same 5 year period the richest 20% saw their annual household income grow 39% the survey by a mumbai based think tank covered over 2 lakh households and was spread over 120 towns and 800 villages across 100 districts And in this edition of Idea Exchange historian and author Ramachandra Guha talks about the Indian Republic deepening of democracy undermining of public institutions rewriting of history and the abandoning of national icons by the Congress allowing the BJP to appropriate them you can read the entire conversation on Indian Express let's have a look at the front page Two years into the coronavirus pandemic, India is now finally acknowledging that the disease is in community transmission stage. Community transmission simply means that the epidemic has become so widespread in the population group that it gets difficult, if not impossible, to determine who is passing on the infection to whom. The source and chain of infections can no longer be established. Amid fears of an imminent Russia invasion of Ukraine, Germany's navy chief remarks. that Russian president Vladimir Putin should be given the respect he probably deserves and that Crimea would never go back to Ukraine have escalated into a diplomatic row between Germany and Ukraine forcing him to step down from his post Russia had an ex Crimea from Ukraine in 2014 amid global criticism here are the must reads A day after it emerged that four people who froze to death in Canada allegedly trying to cross the border illegally into the US, Dingucha village of Kalol Tehsil in Gandhinagar district has become the center of attraction in the region. Police showed up at the village on Saturday and reportedly called on a man whose family members traveled to Canada recently and who are now missing in a recent interview aam aadmi party national convener and delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal claimed that a dalit voter in punjab had come to him and said he would vote for aam aadmi party he said i asked him why not charanjit singh chani who is claiming to be the masiha of dalits he said aap has transformed government schools in delhi and it is only education that can change the lives of people He also made an appeal to vote for Aam Aadmi Party if voters want state of art government schools in Punjab like in Delhi. A day after the eternal flame at Amar Jawan Jyoti was shifted to the National War Memorial, the government has dropped Abide With Me, the somber high point of the conclusion of the Republic Day celebrations. It is always the last piece to be played by the brass band before the troops recede up Raisina Hill to the tune of poet Allama Iqbal Sare Jahan Se Acha. Budget 2022-23 is likely to have a populist ring to it interspersed with a string of announcements entailing road, railways and healthcare projects focused on a handful of pole bound states alongside a greater degree of flexibility to states in market borrowings and capex spending. Coming just ahead of assembly elections in key states, the budget is likely to mark a departure from last year's reformist theme, instead sticking to the implementation of previous announcements, most of which are hanging fire. For 2 years the Indian women's football team had been preparing for its biggest tournament so far the Asian Cup however after playing just one match they had to withdraw from the continental championship on Sunday following a covid-19 outbreak in the squad and in today's daily confidential while it is almost certain that Harish Rawat would contest the upcoming assembly polls from Ramnagar seat In Nainital district his name uh, was not in the first list of candidates announced by the Congress on Saturday 
This has evoked some surprise in party circles. Sources also said the former Chief Minister of Uttarakhand perhaps wanted more time to sort out some issues in the constituencies for which his friend turned four Ranjit Rawat had staked claim. And finally, in the latest episode of the Three Things podcast, Apoorva Vishwanath and Asad Rahman talked to host Snigdha Sharma about the exclusive investigation that found how the state administration exaggerated its powers to assess damage, estimate cost, bring charges and fix liability with many of the accused not even getting a hearing. That's a wrap from my end. For more news and updates, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Internet Express. Thank you for watching.